All right, so now that I've had my cocoa for breakfast, okay, I have perfect peace and gratification, okay, that will last all day long, okay, especially if and when you take a cocoa break. This is one of my favorite gems. This will blow your mind. The depths of the revelation of God in this are so fantastic. The orca breach equals the cocoa break, okay? So the orca is the top of the marine food chain. And when it jumps out of the ocean, that's what you call a breach. Breach equals break, equals cocoa. So the orca breach equals the cocoa break, okay? And that's double cocoa. Orca equals cocoa because cocoa is the very best, the very on top, okay? It's what puts you on top of everything, okay? Orca, now you're orca mode. Now you are the king of the ocean, okay? Who are your enemies? Satan. <laughs> and his spiritual pollution in this world, which is negative, you know, uh, just thoughts, lies, all that stuff. It's like, read the Bible. Just read the Bible. You'll, you'll, get, you'll get it. It's like every instance where someone got filled with Satan, okay, or one of his demons, it was nothing but negativity, crime, lies, dishonesty, uh, ill health, uh, ill feelings. Bas it's like basically anything and everything in this world that is like negative or undesirable is from Satan. Okay, so do you want to be the king of the ocean? Do you want to be orca on top? Do you want to be the orca? Orca equals cocoa. God food is your key to that victory, okay? So that's a revelation from the Lord. And then the orca breach equals the cocoa break, okay? So, okay, take yourself um, on top, okay? Uh, by drinking your cocoa, okay? Um, it will set, set you free um, from all of the devil's negative trash in this life. <laughs> um, I mean, one thing the, the devil loves to use is just negative feelings. Just, you know, oh, just, you know, people vasoconstricted and uptight and anxious and... Yada, yada, yada. Okay, it's all solved by Coco. <laughs> okay, so... Um, notice how at peace and how gratified I am. Okay. Um, so that's it. Okay, that is officially how you become... Okay. Uh, the... Um, the king of the ocean, the top of the marine food chain, you drink your cocoa, okay, uh, which glorifies the cross, as we've talked about Jesus, um, and it literally keeps you above all of the negative crap of the devil in this life 24-7, period. That's it. Um, uh, so there you go. Um, praise God. So I feel like paradise, as I should. Ah, paradise equals double cocoa. So that's it, okay? Cocoa makes you literally on top of the world, okay? Jesus on the inside. But you see how Jesus uses things. People say, yeah, J Jesus, the Holy Spirit on the inside, is your salvation and your total... Well, he's your guide. Do you, do you, see, do you see how Jesus on the inside guides me to consume certain physical foods that take care of this physical body that he lives in okay for the for the maximum happiness happiness of all of us living inside this body my spirit the holy trinity's three spirits it's, it's just do you see that it's like jesus on the inside okay is the answer for my instincts but i'm saying he leads me to consume okay certain okay physical items in this universe which all belongs to him and when I consume those specific items, it actually does make me physically happier all day long. Do you see how the God of spirits is also the God of physicality? Yes. And this is where the church dropped the ball and where most churches dropped the ball, most preachers, most Christians. It's like they talked about the Bible. They talked about morals. They talked about the teachings of Jesus in the Bible. and But they did not... 
Okay, so I guess that's why I'm here. Okay, let's do it. You know, they did not talk about diet. They did not talk about the physical revelations of God. They did not talk about the physical world. Okay, and how to take care of the body. Okay, um, so there you go. Cocoa first, cross first. Okay, and you're on cloud nine, and you'll just um, interact with whatever you feel like interacting with throughout the day. Okay, food wise, I don't touch a single speck of alcohol. It is a, it is a depressant. I don't need it. Okay, um, I can have some pure grape juice. Okay, um, as a treat uh, or to celebrate the Lord's Supper if I want to. Um, and I had a word from the brother from a brother, and I believe it was the Lord. He said that the wine that Jesus would have had in his day, including his first miracle and the Last Supper. Most scholars agree it would have had one seventh the amount of alcohol content that is in any bottle today, like the twelve percent that's in most bottles today. Back in Jesus' time, it would have been one seventh that, and I believe it with all my heart because, you know, you you read the history of the distillation process and the people who invented it were actually non Christians, and it's just it's a depressant. That that much alcohol coming into your system is terrible. It's a depressant. And quite frankly, you'll die if you drink too much alcohol. Like it's just, I don't even touch the stuff at all. I just, I can have some, like, I just, I have zero alcohol in my diet and I feel like paradise 24 seven with cocoa as my cat's meow, with cocoa as my official pleasure drink. Okay. Supplemented with the other perfect hit the spot cravings chain that I live my whole life in. Okay. Um, while being strictly dairy-free and strictly gluten-free. Okay, those are two evils that you cannot touch. Um, you just like... <sighs> there you go. But but I'm like a paradisical person. I'm like, I could be an oozing ball of like love and ecstasy and wisdom and joy and laughter to any human that like, you know, cared to have the time to uh, spend time with me today. But... I am so adamant about these dietary revelations that I'm just, I'm like, I'm screaming out the message for what they should do first so that they can get happy on the inside at my level by themselves first, okay? And they have to, you know, and then when we get together, uh, they're going to feel the same way that I feel, believe the same things I believe. Now we can actually have a conversation of incredible unity, okay? And our feelings are so delightfully, blissfully harmonious, um, we're practically ready to get married on the first date. I'm not even joking. Like, this is what's already here inside of me, and this is what's going to come to the whole world. That's why I proudly prophesied marriages are going to happen like crazy on this diet, young, joyfully, and last a lifetime with silly numbers of babies, like 20 children, <laughs> easily and pleasurably, all because, okay, of these dietary revelations, the cocoa-centric diet, okay? I just... People of the world, okay. Um, well... I, 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 Sadly, I mean, the average person can hardly believe that something so simple would make all the world of a difference and then it would be God's official choice to completely transform their entire body, life, brain, and heart for the better like like nothing else. I'm like, that's who God is. Of course it's simple. Of course it's cheap. Of course it's just add water. Of course it's on the go. Of course it's lightweight. Of course it's in insanely simple and quick and has God's name on it. It's cocoa powder. You just add water and drink it more. Like, people are, people are, it's like the cross. It's like the Bible says about the cross of Jesus and salvation itself. They're like, they stumble. They're like, how can it be that easy? How can it be that simple for someone to get saved? It's like, it's, 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 it's the exact same metaphor with cocoa. How can the best thing be so simple and cheap and easy? And, you know, and they just, they, they stumble at that. I'm like, well, stop stumbling and just receive the revelation, receive the divine word from God. I'm like, I'm actually saying, thus saith the Lord on this. Because I've, I've, I'm like, when you spend as much time in this area, for over a year, like, I'm a man of prayer, I constantly scrutinize everything that I enter into with God, I make sure that it's God, and then I turn on the video camera like this, and I say, thus saith the Lord. It's like, drink your cocoa. <laughs> you know, it's like, 
<laughs> it's like, because God said so. It's like... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> By the way, doctor's orders both end in RS, which equals Coco. Another revelation from God. It's just like... It's just, it just, it just, it's just, it's just... I'm just like, it's so simple. It equals double Coco. It's like, is everyone else tired of just people having miserable days? But, but the, the, I mean, the thing is, people people just can't believe it. They can't believe that the best thing to shove in their mouth is completely free, basically, super lightweight, bitter on the lips. That's what they stumble at also. They're like, you just have to hear from God and obey. And it's always extremely simple and, and lightweight and perfect and easy and on the go. And like I said, Coco is at the front of the word purse twice. And the purse refers to a unisex leather carrying pouch that people use to carry Official currency in times past. What should be in a woman's purse or a man's purse? Like a, a bag carrying something with you for the day? Coco. P U up Coco R S Coco at the front of the word purse. Da 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 da. Because when you take a break, you make it a cocoa break because cocoa equals break, and begins the word breakfast. I, like I'm proudly destroying all the lies you've ever seen in this universe because Coco gives you the, man, people just don't get it. They don't get that mankind had way better oxygen uptake in the pre-flood world, and Coco is God's chosen key to take people pleasurably back there for nothing, for 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 free. People, and that's why pe people just like what? Like what? It, it's that easy, and it's it's it, it's that good, and it's that amazing, and I'm actually supposed to feel this good, and it's called God food. It's it's not a drug. It's like no, it's God food, and it does this, and it's it's free and cheap and easy. People are like what? And I'm like yeah, fudge. And they're like well why have been? And then they're like well why have I been drinking coffee? Because you've been lied to, you've been marketed to. And it takes your money at the same time. And I, and same thing with every other stupid product. It's a profiteering madhouse to just kill you and take your money. <laughs> just like, it's like once you know the truth and the science and the word from God, that cocoa restores your, your body's inner oxygen uptake to pre-flood levels, which is what you're supposed to feel as a real human before the flood of Noah happened, you're just like, Oh, now I know why Coco is the cat's meow. Because it gives my entire being the oxygen it always craved. That is so deeply rooted in the human heart and in human history, it, go, it goes back to Eden, the pre-flood world, when everyone lived 900 or more years. <gasps> oh my gosh! You just have to obey it and drink the stuff, glorifying the cross of Jesus Christ because it's bitter, but it takes you back to Eden, just like the cross of Jesus takes you back to Eden, spiritually. Paradise. No sin against you. <gasps> oh my gosh, is it all a perfect metaphor? Yes, the confession that Jesus Christ is God and that he died on the cross for your sins, that forgives you. Now you're in, the, now you're in Genesis chapter 1, spiritually. How do you get to Genesis chapter 1 physically? Drink your cocoa, which is the physical equivalent of the cross. Bang! Now you're just taking your body physically back to Genesis chapter 1. Maximum oxygen uptake and delivery like Adam and Eve had. Done! And that's why they lived 900 years. Did you get it? Did you get what I just said? And that's why the word economy is cocoa. Oh my! In order. Economy begins with cone, which equals cocoa. The rest equals oh my, in order, because it's this delightful surprise. The economy is the human body economy. What comes first? Cocoa. Oh my. Why? Why, class? Because it restores oxygen to my entire being to pre-flood levels. <gasps> oh my. And that's why it makes me so happy and blissed out. And everyone else is literally a zombie by comparison. They're all low on oxygen. But they don't have to stay that way. Oh my gosh. 
There is a way back if you come by the way of the cross, which equals double cocoa. And it's free for everyone to do. You just have to obey the prophet speaking to you right now. I even have brown eyes and brown hair to match the cocoa that God ordained me to talk about. I'm so excited about this, i got to drink more. A revelation from God is that the word cocoa has a pair of O's in symmetry to perfectly match O2 oxygen molecule pairs that come in and get to the entire body 24-7. More precious than any other substance this thing craves. And um, God food, okay. The God-ordained English translation of Theobroma cacao, which is the name of the plant. God food has those same pair of O's in the same slots as cocoa. As a reminder that God food slash cocoa is for everyone's oxygen salvation. <sighs> Taking us all back to Eden. To get out. That's why I've been saying get out of the entire modern depression fast. You're, you guys are all low on oxygen. I'm here to tell the whole world the truth about why everyone is depressed and low energy and low everything compared to me. You're all low on oxygen. But there's a way out of it. A Christ glorifying way out to it. It's right here. And it's easy and it's cheap and it's efficient. Go. I literally bought every single cocoa tin from Superstore yesterday. I cleared out the whole, well, all the Hershey's ones because they're the only natural ones that aren't contaminated with a second ingredient. I bought every one because I know that cocoa is money because oxygen is the center of this economy in this body right here. Guess what? The Bible likens human beings to a flame of fire, okay? Guess what fire needs in order to burn brightly and joyfully? Oxygen? Da, 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 da. What boosts oxygen class? Cocoa, God food, not coffee. Sorry, pour all your caffeine-based drinks and coffee down the drain. They're not vasodilators. They do not boost, boost oxygen. You've been lied to by Satan. And your money's been taken at the same time. Sorry, sir. Pour it all down the drain. Switch to cocoa now if you want to live long. Now, now I just see everything is a symptom everywhere. Everyone compared to me is what you call vasoconstricted, which is to say all of their veins inside of their body are completely shriveled and constricted compared to mine, which means low oxygen delivery to their entire body, which is why they are all fat, miserable, and depressed. I, on the other hand, am on fire, happy, joyful, exuberant, ready to party, completely full of love, just oozing joy, love, and bliss and worship 24-7. All because of one simple substance that perfectly matches the cross of Jesus Christ. You either face the cross or you stay in Loserville. You either confess that Jesus Christ is God or you get no salvation and no ticket into heaven. When you breathe your last, you either drink the cocoa or you stay in physical Loserville while you live this life. It's a perfect metaphor to glorify the king of the universe, Jesus Christ. I'm tired of seeing humans wander around in, Zoo in Loserville. I'm just, here to shout, I'm just here to tell you, okay, what the Lord has told me and the blessing that he's invited me into and anyone and everyone can do it, starting at any age. Okay. But it really does help. See, now that you've received my wisdom and you've received like the words that I've delivered, just the knowledge of the science behind it, okay, so that you understand why it works, what it's all about, why, you know, it's, 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 it's God glorifying and why it takes you back to Eden and what the pre-flood world was like and yada, yada, yada. So you, be, the reason you have to be convinced and you have to know the personal voice of God is because the stuff is as bitter as can be. 
And that is why most people don't enter in. They don't know God. They, they, they don't know God. They don't know his personal voice. And they instinctively think to themselves, well, my goodness, this stuff is so bitter, it surely cannot be. You know, it surely cannot be the best thing for my health and happiness. Guess what? It had to be bitter. Because bitter equals cross equals Jesus. So that as happy as humans ever get on the sweetest consumable in the history of the universe, they never forget the cross that paid for our sin. So that when people are high and happy and completely just ecstatic, they stay free from sin in the midst of parties. That's why cocoa is bitter. As a reminder of the cross of Jesus that paid for the sins of the world. So cocoa makes you extremely high and happy while keeping you holy. Done! Doesn't it just fit the whole bill perfectly? Okay, and that's why I don't touch a single speck of alcohol. I don't need it or want it in my life. It has nothing for my happiness compared to this. Done. And that's why I'm telling the whole world that there is a cocoa revolution already here, already here, and it's going to sweep whoever wants it to sweep them for their pleasure. I just, okay, done. Uh, every alcohol drinker is depressed, pot-bellied, obese, miserable, gossiping, hateful, slanderous. You know, you, you just, it's just the clap. Misery loves company, just wallowing in the mire. Done. Get out. Just get out. Receive the word of the Lord. You'll be on eagle's wings. You'll never look back. Just ridiculous. Done. It's, it's, it's not... I'm, enough so there you go um more excited preaching okay um on coco okay because you know uh coco leads people to the cross okay the salvation of their soul okay um and the joy of god on the inside of them as a result done